Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here coming at you with another video. Uh, today I went to a local card show. Uh, it had about, I want to say, 170 tables. Uh, it was in an old mall. And I wasn't really expecting too much out of it. Uh, I guess I didn't really pay attention to the flyer. I just thought I was going to spend a little bit of time there and, you know, just kind of look around and stuff. But I actually was quite surprised that, you know, when I actually read the flyer and like 170 tables, I'm like, wow, and they had some autograph guests. I'm not into autographs, but, you know, uh, it wasn't your typical mall show where there's about 30 or 40 tables. There was quite a few. And according to the flyer, there was uh, uh, people there from eight different states so uh i talked to a couple guys you know they were from ohio uh and of course i dealt with some people that i normally de dealt with in the past so but uh you got this giant stack of cards here some of it might interest you a lot of it may not but you know oh well starting off i got some uh 52 bowman um You can see the backs are not too bad. Um, you're just going to flip through these. I'm not going to know all the names. That's uh, Edward Fitzgerald. If I can make them out, I will let you know. This is uh, Gene Bearden. All right, so we're just going just gonna to look at them here. No, no Hall of Famers in here. Um, I pay, these were for five bucks a piece. I got them for probably uh four twenty five a piece or something you know after you add them all up he gave me a discount um so just ended up with ten of these anyway so and for some reason my lists are not updated I think I did grab a couple dubs but that's okay uh let me see here we got a eighty nine Fleer all star uh, for my set sticker, this number four Barkley. And let's see, picked up a couple Hall of Famers for my sets Stadium Club, Jerry Rice, Danny Marino. Uh, let's see here. These I needed for my set. So I got John Lamonkowski. And that's a short print, and I did not see the wrinkle, but I only paid a dollar, so that's okay. Uh, got Ernie Stotner for the Steelers for my 59 top set. And we got a Bobby Lane. Uh, you see prices that are on here. You, know, you buy a stack, they give you a discount. I don't remember what I, you know what I paid off the top of my head when it was all said and done, but that's fine. Uh, Troy Aikman for my pro set. And yes, I know I could buy the whole entire set for whatever, but that's not the point of it. I like to build sets, and a lot of these cards I got for next to nothing, and I'm left just filling in some holes. There's a 61 Jim Cole Clow. Clow for the uh, Boston Patriots. Uh, it's in the dollar box. We got here a 91 or 92 upper deck Danny Marino. Got a couple uh, 88 flare for my set. Barkley and Ewing. Uh, this set, or this set, this uh, show surprised me because yeah, you just had to do some digging. It wasn't like all modern. It wasn't all vintage. A lot of the, a lot of the young guys that have been selling, uh, the you know the the modern stuff. They're they're putting out some vintage stuff too, um, and some of it for a pretty good price. And I get this stack of. Uh, the game piece inserts. I think these are from uh, 
68 set, I want to say. I didn't have a checklist, so I just... I got all these for 20 bucks, so I got, he, he said the Hall of Famers were five a piece, and then the rest would be a dollar, so I had $35 worth, he, he said 20 bucks, so I thought that was a fair price, and these are really nice shape. And I probably have some of these, like I said, didn't have a checklist. Uh, they're having this show again in June. And this is in Washington County area. So for those of you who are more local uh, or even in Ohio, it, to me it was worth going. Uh, I didn't text any of my, my uh, friends because I didn't think it was that, you know, anything going to be anything spectacular. But then it turned out to be pretty decent. There was... Uh, there was Gaudis there. I didn't really see any T206s, so nothing pre 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 war. Uh, just the Gaudis. Uh, trying to think if I seen anything else. I don't remember seeing anything else really older than the Gaudi. And and if there was a T206, it was like a one off kind of thing. Uh, there was a lot of 50s and 60s stuff. A lot of mantle stuff. Uh, fair prices too so uh, it would definitely be a show worth checking out if you were local so uh, these are just some 90 what is this 91 upper deck uh, hall of famers or star players um, that I think I needed for a set I don't know but they're a good price, so I, I jumped on that. Here we have a, uh, what's this, Tops 1,000 Yard Club. This is from 80, the 89 season, so I didn't think I had that. And we got a 1,000 Yard Tony Dorsett. Here's a Fleer All Pro I think I need. Another 1,000 Yard Mark, Marcus Allen. This is an insert for the 80... Is it 84 tops? Jack Lambert. So, uh, a couple Flare Ultras. Uh, Piazza I needed for a 93 or 94 upper deck. Uh, Andy Ramirez. These are from 2006 or 7. Which I don't remember here, but the Gaudi short print. And just a couple star cards for the Junk Wax era that I need, or I thought I needed. These are just some of the different sets that I, I throw together. Uh, again, I know I can buy them for already completed, but it's no fun. So, Shohei Atani. And... Dale Murphy, second year rookie. LA Star Join Action. High number Rod Carew. And got a couple uh, Hall of Famers from my second 73 set. And a 76, Gary Carter. Catfish Hunter. Palmer. Brock. Schmidt. Another thousand yarder. What year is this from? 86, I think. Henderson insert. So you can see I kind of, I'm all over the place here. Um, these were dollar box cards. And then they kind of discounted after that a little bit. Guys, I think I might need for to uh, finish off a couple uh, late '90s, early 2000s sets. Get some Wonder Bread cards that I may or may not need. Couldn't remember, so I just grabbed them. These were from. Uh, I think these are from 2000, 2001 tops. 
Looked like they were an insert set, so I just grabbed all these to kind of make a round round off number. Uh, when I was, you know, to buy all these cards. Like I said, these were all like in the dollar box. But that was pretty cool. And they're all Hall of Famers, so. Or should be Hall of Famers. Um, yeah, there was there was a guy set up there. He had forty nine Bowmans. He had uh, thirty three Gaudis. I think I might have seen some Diamond Stars. Um, he had some. 52 tops. They didn't have any high numbers. That's that's what I was looking for. Um, and like I said, it seems like the younger guys that have been selling all the modern stuff that everybody was going crazy. Well, not me, but a lot of guys are going crazy after. They're kind of uh, branching out and adding some uh, vintage stuff to their collection. So. Uh, but that's all I got for now. That's pretty much what I picked up today. Uh, that's all I got for now. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, have a good day.